Hey everyone, I'm the Tom. Welcome to my gaming channel. And this time, I'm playing another episode of The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Last time, we played as Cain and uh, we beat Satan. All right, and we we unlocked uh, we unlocked Judas, so we might as well play him, right? Obviously, there is one one main concern with a Judas run and that is HP so let's see what we got here is that that is infestation 2 that's so good what that allows me it's like uh, being guppy only that I don't generate uh, flies but spiders or actually it's more like the mulligan because I don't generate uh, spiders on every shot Instead, it gives me a certain chance of doing so. All right, and uh, ooh, damn, <laughs> that was actually close to taking damage. Uh, all right, here we go. Got a key out of that. I'm not gonna use my pocket balloon here. I'm gonna save it for the boss. Really hoping for uh, for an HP upgrade on this boss, but. HP upgrades are not as common anymore as they used to be in the Wrath of the Lamb, so uh, it's a pretty it's a pretty big risk to actually play as Judas to begin with. But if you manage to get one or two HP upgrades early on, you're gonna be in a good in a good shape. No tinted rock so far, that's kinda surprising. And come on. Alright. Who, who are we fighting? Famine! Alright. He used to poke a Palano right away. And he's gonna take a lot of damage from the spiders. And he's a lot slower than he used to be in Wrath of the Lamb, but actually. Uh, whatever though. No deal with the devil, because this is the first floor. And obviously no HP upgrade, because it's Famine. Um, okay, so I'm gonna look for the secret room. Which actually could be here. And it is. I'll shoot, I'll shoot this poop first. Gave me nothing. And there are six cents. Almost enough to make the shop worthwhile. I'm gonna go to it anyway. Just in... Or actually I don't know what the shop is. Because we have another room on the level that requires, the, that requires a key. I really hope this is the shop though. And it is. Not really excited about the coin purse. So, alright, I'm just gonna go down to the next floor. And actually, I'm gonna put a bomb down here. And uh, open this, which gave me a bomb and a key. Let's open this. It's a book of revelations. I'm gonna use it once to give me a soul heart. Giving me the best possible chance of uh, getting a deal with the devil on the next floor. The stars, pretty good. Saves me a key, effectively. And uh, all right, this is the the path to the next. Oh, actually, the seed. The seed is uh, PV08. W6S7 Alright So, we're gonna go to the basement too These things are so annoying Thank you Cuba Meat Took some damage there, and uh, it's only my own fault that I'm not blaming the game for that. But it sucks nonetheless. But I still have half a soul heart to protect my red hearts. That was actually close to hitting me there. Come on, thank you. All right, there's the boss fight. And this gave me another soul heart. 
There's the secret room? Oh, it's the second secret room. Liberty camp, well, might as well take it. I'm doing a lot of damage. Actually, maybe I only... Maybe I'm only able to spawn spiders if I kill uh, my target. That's an HP upgrade. Uh, that is Horror of Babylon. Could be useful. Yeah, I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna put the bomb down here. And this is the second. Uh, this is the first secret room. Oh man! Oh, it's a half down. Whatever. Explosive diarrhea. Oh no. Stars? I'm actually not going to use now. Wait. No, alright. I thought maybe there was a tinted rock there, but there wasn't. There is one in this room. Okay. I, ho I really hope this blows it up. Alright. Infamy, that's so good. Is that sad onion? It's dead onion. Holy shit. Look at my tears. And infamy... It does give me a chance of blocking uh, damage from the front. And actually I'm super strong now. Did my damage go up, go up by that? It didn't. Oh wait. Now I have this, the Finnard Mushroom effect. Not anymore though. Well now. Actually I still have it. Not now though. And yet my damage is... Pretty damn solid. Should have picked up one of those hearts, but I don't think it's gonna make a huge difference. Because this run is already super powerful. Looks like they're kind of piercing. Yeah, they are. They travel really slowly as well. Here we go. Explosive diarrhea. No thanks. Gonna go to the item room right away. Thank you for the soul heart. Ball of tar, sticky feet. Oh! I now... I now leave a, a trail of uh, a slowing creep underneath my feet. Alright. Here we go. Man, I'm so strong now. Look at that damage. Just imagine what happens if I activate Book of Belial. Alright. that. I'm gonna go in here. It's the 9 volt. I'm gonna buy it. Quicker charge. I'm gonna buy that soul heart as well. Well, and now that I'm here, I'm gonna buy the key. Okay, so things are going really, really well this run. Thank you, Infamy. Those spikes don't disappear, alright. Okay. So 
Is that? Yeah, that's the secret room. The first, the first secret room. Two bombs. Thank you. Peep. Holy shit! Look at that damage. Now I'm gonna activate Poco Polar. That was close to taking damage. Oh my goodness. Look at those tears. Alright. Peep's dead. Got a range upgrade which is not super exciting. But to deal with the double might be well it it still could be. Bombs. Troll bomb. Well a homing troll bomb. And two pills. Two speed upgrade pills. I actually might take another one. Oh it's a pretty fly. That's really good. Not gonna go into the secret room because I can't go through it. Into that other room. Not excited about that. Here we go. And on this side we find Lust. Which is gonna be super easy now that we have the slowing creep. Book of Sin has appeared in the basement. Apparently I've I've defeated all the seven uh all the seven deadly sins. I found pills, alright. Whatever. This run is like seriously powerful. Caves two. Sloth. Oh man, that was so bad of me. I'm gonna pick this up and put it back down. Can't get to that golden poop. Um, I'd really like to find the ability to fly on this floor. Tracy will be on the deal of the double because you know it's it's transcendence is pretty rare now on the secret room because it's pretty rare to find an item to begin with on the secret room in rebirth. I'm tearing through these rooms like nothing. Three dollar bill. Well, I might as well take it. That was number one. Not gonna go to the curse room because I want to earn a deal of the devil on this floor. What the hell is this? It's this flaming tears. Holy moly! That is number one again. That is... Oh no. I'm just gonna shoot up. And... Oh, I found the secret room by accident. That is speed up. Triple shot. Thank you very much. And what do we got here? We got another door that leads to the boss fight, as I expected. Ooh, no. Actually, having such high speed is a little bit problematic. Gurdy. Oh no, I hate this tear effect. It makes my tear smaller the, the further they travel. Does that mean less damage the further they travel? Actually, I'm gonna 
he's supposed to pull out anyway, because I don't care. Here we go. Alright, that's soon for it. No, it's people. Puppy's paw. Dead cat. Alright. I'm gonna pick this up first. Use it twice. And then take the dead cat, which effectively effectively gave me one HP there. Oh, I should have... Ah. So I might as well just uh, use Copy Spa again to put me in permanent Horror of Babylon state. Oh no, that was so bad. What is th this tear effect? Holy moly. Actually, I ver I would very much welcome a speed downgrade. Because all these spikes, they are so hard to avoid now. Okay. I brought this on myself because I decided to take the second speed upgrade pill. So I'm not even gonna blame the game for that. It gave me the pill, but I but I had the choice not to take it. Alright. Holy shit that damage. Right. This contains a golden chest, which might be worth it. It's not. Don't forget, we still have that uh, slowing creep. Oh, I have piercing shots as well due to that uh, dead onion upgrade. Funny game. Giving me exclusively red hearts, like four and a half red hearts when I'm only running on the soul hearts. Oh, that was so bad. Shooting sights is so fun. Alright. We got the battery. Well, might as well buy it, right? Actually, I should have bought the Soul Heart. So I got my reflection on this room. With, which, uh, with piercing shots, is actually not that bad. Those charging attacks are so much slower now than they used to be. He explodes when you uh, kill him halfway and put him into permanent walking state. Alright. Got a deal with the devil and the second cube of meat. A uh, little brimstone and goat head. No thanks to both of those. Really? That's, that explosion still hit me? Bomb bag. Just to add it to the collection of what items I've already gotten. Here it is. Alright. These two batteries are effectively worthless because uh, Guppy's Paw obviously doesn't have a charge. 
Um, I've been to the shop, to the item room, to the challenge room, to the boss room. Well, let's leave. I unlocked Eve. Not sure how. Alright, 1746. Oh man. Holy crap. <laughs> With that much damage, triple shot is like super good. I mean, triple shot is always good, but when you have so much damage and piercing shots, it's just... It's just amazing. Actually, I'm low on the health though, so I should... I should actually be a little bit more careful. Because I don't have any way of generating soul hearts. And uh, I can't pick up red heart. Unless I find another HP up here. Double shot. Alright. Triple shot. Number one. Oh no. I was too slow. Well, my reaction time was too slow, not my character. Really, dude? Was that the champion version of this guy or what? Oh no. Okay. This is a really fun run though. Holy shit, so many unknown uh, factors, so many things I haven't seen before. Magnet. I have seen that one before and I'm not stoked about it, but... Well, I haven't seen it in Rebirth yet, which is why I picked it up. Uh, because at, at one point in like two years or so, I'm gonna, I wanna have, you know, all, all the items collected that Rebirth has. Okay. Gonna go this way, because there's no other way for me to go right now. We're gonna fight mom. And I'm super scared about the wound, because everything does a full heart of damage and I only have one and a half soul hearts. Thank you, Magnet. Okay. Gonna be fighting Mom with triple shot. The shade is now barely noticeable of the foot. Alright. I just ever so um, slightly survived. Um, but the womb is gonna be problematic. Actually, I do have 9 lives. Still, I, can o I can't get hit when I respawn. Got this color. Alright, tearing through fistula like nothing. Those bomb flies do a lot more damage to Loki than they used to. Chop's gonna die. We got here soul heart thank you am i guppy now i think i am yeah so i'm now generating flies and spiders oh my goodness oh 
Holy shit. All right. Actually, no longer sure what I've got a chance or not, because it's because it could be because it might be pretty realistic. I might have a pretty realistic chance of making it. What's this, Carlos? Your feet feel stronger. Man. Emperor. It's only wound one, right? Yeah. Just pop up, please. Thank you. Okay. So. Um. It's this way. Got Horror Babylon. Got Inca Station 2. I got I'm Guppy. Obviously I can fly. I got nine lives. So this is a really powerful run. And in case I die and respawn with Guppy's uh, or with uh, nine lives, I have Guppy's pod turned at one red heart into three soul hearts. Which means I'm gonna be in permanent Horror Babylon state again and have more HP than I do now. I can I also have spectral tears, apparently. Alright. So now the magnet is effectively worthless and the gurgling just died in one hit or two hits. Teratoma is gonna be so easy. You see? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna convert that, and it's gonna give me the nail, which I'm actually not gonna take. Two black hearts is really good. Got a ton of flies and spiders available, so I'm actually pretty sure I'm gonna make this. <laughs> this is just, this is just death, plain death gonna rush through. Got an arcade which I'm not interested in. <laughs> Look at that! Man! Oh, red tube still hurts me when I'm flying. So that's still something. Red Heart. Funny. <laughs> this is so much fun. Guys, honestly, play this seat. If, if, in case you've missed it the first time, it's PV08W6S7. This, this run is so much fun. And it was actually not a bad idea at all to leave the book banana on the devil room. Look at that. Didn't get hit. Oh. What rubber cement? I have no idea what that is, but I can't go down to shore, so... Alright, let's watch the ending. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks scary. So, if you enjoyed this run as much as I did, please click the please click the like button. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.